of the morning to ya. Today on To Taste, we're going to do a little Irish dish called Colcannon. And it's a nice little way to use your leftover mashed potatoes. So in the pan here, I have about two cups of shredded cabbage, which you can see is already cooking down. A couple tablespoons of chopped onion. You can use green onions or leeks if you like. And two bay leaves, because we want to get some flavor in there. And now I'm going to add this about a teaspoon of thyme. So we want to crush that and release those flavors. Oh, that smells nice. And I'm sauteing this in like two tablespoons of melted butter. Butter gives it really good flavor. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fish out these bay leaves because we don't want them to hide in our mashed potatoes. And it only takes about five minutes to saute the cabbage till it's wilted. And if you don't want to shred cabbage, you could use a bag of coleslaw. It's even easier yet. It's kind of like a no-brainer, just, you know, how much ever cabbage you like, how much ever mashed potatoes you like. Okay, and I think our cabbage is wilted enough to put our potatoes in. And it's kind of like a big pancake. And it goes really well with ham, or you can actually, if you like, Add bacon to this, cooked bacon, chopped up cubed cooked ham, or you can serve this as a side dish with ham, or on St. Patty's Day with your corned beef. And it's just a matter of just heating everything through. And this actually makes a really good dish for during Lent, when you want to go meatless. Here's my knife. There's my knife. Scrape it off a little bit. And you can hear it sizzling. Or even Irish sausage. That would be good with that. Time just smells so wonderful. And we're going to put a little salt and pepper, flavor it up a little bit. And you want to use cold potatoes, like like I mentioned, leftover, you know, mashed potatoes. Salt and pepper to your taste. I kind of like a lot of pepper. I know, that's a lot of pepper. <laughs> a little bit of salt. Mix it through. It doesn't take long because the pan's already hot. And we're good to go. I'm going to plate it up. Smoosh it down a little bit. And I'm going to put a few pats of butter on top. Just for extra butter flavor. This is actually unsalted butter. Oop, we almost lost one. I don't have fresh parsley, so we're just going to put a little sprinkle of dry. Got to just improvise when you're cooking. Improvise. 
So there you go. There's our little Irish dish for St. Patty's Day. I hope you guys try it. And remember guys, life is good. Have a good day and we'll see you next time on Two Taste. Bye bye.